Welcome to Stock Invest YouTube channel and this stock report for board drilling. The report was first published on our website Thursday, June 30, 2022, but this is a more detailed version. Our aim is to help you answer the question, should I buy or sell board drilling? In this video, you will get insight into the technical and fundamental situation and future price predictions. Please remember to subscribe, hit like and notification bell so you will be first to know when we post a new updated video. Since June 29, 2022, our system ranks the board drilling stock as a sell candidate, giving it a score of minus 3.656. In this period the stock has had a loss of minus 15.10%. This is an average return of minus 7.55% per day since first recommended. In our daily updates for board drilling our last headline reads, Volatile ride for board drilling stock price on Thursday moving between $4.36 and $4.86. The board drilling stock price fell by minus 15.10% on the last day, Thursday, June 30, 2022, from $5.43 to $4.61. And has now fallen four days in a row. During the day the stock fluctuated 11.47% from a day low at $4.36 to a day high of $4.86. The price has fallen in 6 of the last 10 days and is down by minus 21.2% for this period. Volume has increased on the last day by 2 million shares but on falling prices. This may be an early warning and the risk will be increased slightly over the next couple of days. In total, 4 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $16.97 million. In the last 52 weeks, the highest price of the stock was $6.96, and the lowest price was $0.56. Cents. Right now the price is 33.76%, or $2.35, below 52-week high and 82.77%, or $22.14, below all-time high May 23, 2018 where the price hit $26.75. The current three-month trend indicates a possible 48.76% change over the next three months, with a possible return between 48.76% and 134.42%. The 12 month trend it indicates a 352.68% change over the next 12 months with a possible return between 281.95% and 587.13%. This equals a price between $17.61 and $31.68 after a year. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets From analysts, bore drilling stock received a general buy rating. The analysts give P.E. ratio a neutral and price to book a neutral rating. For the return on investment the analysts give the bore drilling stock a neutral rating. In this section we will give you some information about signals found for bore drilling. We will start with the general picture before we move on some of the most famous indicators and signals that will give you a deeper and better understanding of the trading possibilities in the stock. There are few to no technical positive signals at the moment. The board drilling stock holds sell signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a more negative forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general sell signal from the relation between the two signals where the long-term average is above the short-term average. On corrections up, there will be some resistance from the lines at $5.54 and $5.57. A breakup above any of these levels will issue by signals. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Tuesday, June 7, 2022, and so far it has fallen minus 30.68%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. Volume rose on falling prices yesterday. This may be an early warning and the stock should be followed more closely. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence holds a sell signal. Pivots gave a sell signal 17 days ago. Bollinger gave a buy signal 110 days ago. The short-term moving average for the three-month chart gave a sell signal three days ago. The long-term moving average for the three-month chart gave a sell signal three days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages in the three-month chart gave a buy signal two days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see short moving average gave a sell signal three days ago. The long-term moving average gave a buy signal 193 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages gave a buy signal 187 days ago. 
Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk and Stop Loss for Bore Drilling Bore drilling finds support from accumulated volume at $4.59 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This stock may move much during the day, volatility, and with a large prediction interval from the Bollinger Band this stock is considered to be high risk. During the last day, the stock moved 50 cents between high and low, or 11.47%. For the last week, the stock has had a daily average volatility of 10.94%. Here are some possible good day trading levels. On an upturn, bore drilling meets first resistance at $4.91. If you do not hold bore drilling shares you should wait for this level to be broken before placing your bet. If you already have the stock this is the level you may want to swing trade. On a downturn bore drilling finds first level of support at $4.59 and this is a natural place to put your bet if the support holds with an expectation of a rebounce upwards. In the table we have listed other potential swing trading levels based on the, the famous Fibonacci model. The average ratings combined from several analyst sources for bore drilling is buy. We hold a negative evaluation for this stock, no stop loss set. Is bore drilling stock a buy? The bore drilling stock holds several negative signals and despite the positive trend, we believe bore drilling will perform weekly in the next couple of days or weeks. Therefore, we hold a negative evaluation of this stock. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day our systems find that the current price is undervalued. For the trading on Friday 1st we expect bore drilling to open up $0 and start trading at $4.61. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. That's the end of this video, thanks for watching. And remember to subscribe to the channel to get all the latest videos and updates.